Airmen, soldiers, sailors, and marines rely on advanced electronics on the battlefield. Often, mission success depends on a tool's ability to survive and operate in challenging conditions. At Wright-Patterson Air Force Base, the Air Force Research Laboratory's Additive Manufacturing Lab works towards creating more capable electronics. What we're trying to do here is really not just print 3D structures, but print functional devices. So print, print electronics, print uh, batteries, print solar cells, print um, you know, transistors, and directly write their structures onto a structure, say a UAV, a UAV wing, for example. This is a shift from traditional methods, where components are soldered to a circuit board, then installed. The benefits include weight reduction and fewer pieces to break. The lab also looks for the best materials to use. We want to look at all the different ways that we can process materials so that we get the best properties that we can get. So we want to look at additive manufacturing as one tool that we can use in our toolbox um, in order to make whatever the warfighter needs. There's a lot of work to be done in terms of designing the materials that are printed, designing the inks, designing conductive elastomers, designing the active materials, the transistor, uh, designing the battery, all that you can print on them. And so those are not materials that you can just go out and buy today. And if you could, it wouldn't be strong enough. The things that the military needs their, their electronic system to withstand are you know, going through walls. And so how, does, how do we design electronic systems that they can survive that kind of uh, level of, of impact? and some of their work has already proven itself in the field. From Wright-Patterson Air Force Base, I'm Staff Sergeant Scott Johnson.